Welcome back to Olympus Critics. Make sure you like and subscribe. This video will be about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. There's um, rumors going around. Well, it's probably been confirmed that Winston Duke got a pay raise for the film and he will have a bigger role. And a lot of people are speculating that he will be the new Black Panther. See, this is, this is one of my problems with what Marvel's doing what I don't really like. Even Sony's doing it as well. They're making villains into the anti-heroes and, and it's just too it's too much of that. We already got the spent too everybody's getting too many spin-offs. And everybody's getting superpowers. Everybody gets superpowers. Now almost all the villains we have to, you know, we're making them into anti anti-heroes and and heroes. You know, we've seen it with Loki. Seen it with Loki, seen it with um, Mor Morbius. Morbius looks like he's gonna. I don't know too much. We'll, when we watch the movie, we'll see. But it, 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 we're, we're, we're seeing that with them and with, with possibly Craven the Hunter, who was, even though he wasn't a, a full blooded villain, but he still started off as one. That's what I want to see them start off as a villain. Even though we got that off Loki, and then they kind of retconned that he was mind controlled by Thanos. That's why he did all that, but I did not like that. Just keep him as a villain and let him have some character development, which he did, but I didn't like the retcon and that Thanos brainwashed him into taking out the, the stuff. But anyway, in Baku, we really didn't see him as a villain. I mean, he got he challenged T'Challa in the first film. But that was all we got. We didn't see that Mbaku man ape character from the comics, you know, take hold. And it was it wasn't it was it wasn't what I was I didn't like it at all. The same thing with Shang Chi and Wenwu, even though the the character the, the actor knocked it out of the park and he was the Mandarin, we really didn't I didn't really get villain vibes from him I saw I saw somebody that was that had the, uh, the, the potential but I didn't see it all the way I saw a guy who's just doing it you know just to get his love back and I just don't really like how they're portraying their villains all the time it's different like I give an example for Man of Steel with uh, Michael Shannon Zod he was a villain, but he thought he was doing good, but he was still like had a mean streak, but he, he wanted to wipe out the planet. And he 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 was gonna do it. I just didn't see I don't see this. I didn't see that from Ubaku. And they're making too many villains, anti-heroes and heroes. And we just need we need some good villains. I mean, you got Loki, I give it that to him, even though they retconned it, he was a good villain. Um, Thanos, of course. He's the top. Thanos. Um, probably put Robert Radford's um, villain up in there. He was decent. I wouldn't say he was great, but we, we gotta get we gotta get these villains more time and let them be villains instead of just keep switching them up all the time. It's gotta it's gotta stop. I hope they don't do that with Kane the Conqueror. I hope they don't make him into no anti-hero. Keep him as a villain. It's, 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 it's a headache. I love what they did with Green Goblin. Spider-Man No Way Home. At the end, yeah, he got that antidote, but yeah, he was messing some stuff up. That's the type of villains you need. Look at the praise William Dafoe is getting. We didn't get that with Mbaku. That's why I'm kind of scratching my head, like, you're choosing him. Let, let Winston Duke get fame off of being a villain that you casted him to be. But now you're making... Mbaku the Black Panther and when you could just recast T'Challa you could just recast him but no that's not gonna happen so this news does kind of bother me it's no it's no it's no animosity towards Winston Duke because I think he should get a chance to be a villain in the film but he didn't get that chance they sideline him they're doing the same thing with Mordor Mordo and um, Doctor Strange He's acting like an anti-hero. I don't see no villain in that character when Doctor Strange should be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. But instead, he's 
pushed to being a secondary character when he's really should be a threat. He should be a threat, but they may, he's the Sinestro to Green Lantern for Doctor Strange. But no, they 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 put him secondary. They put him secondary. That's the same thing. I'm giving the cheetah to Edge for more. But post comments, let me know what you guys think of this situation. I'll get at you later.